what's up guys welcome back to the channel and recently many of you guys asked me to make a video regarding the Fallout 84 and how to improve overall performance overall frame rate especially if you are playing on a low-end pc or laptop so today i'm going to bring you guys the ultimate fps boost guide for Fallout 84 especially if you are decide to play this game on a low-end pc or a laptop in 2023 so if you have a low-end system and you're playing the game right now and struggling to get a very decent playable frame rate i guarantee this video will definitely help you with that so without further ado guys let's get right into the video first of all guys i'm really happy to see the fallout 84 is really doing well right now having close to like 25,000 daily concurrent players and also i know many of you guys are playing and enjoy the game right now so i hope this video helpful for especially if you are playing on a low end system and struggling to play the game all right first of all the minimum system requirements according to their steam page the game need to have an i3 6300 which is a pretty old dual core cpu at this point so cpu wise the game is pretty generous and also you need to have a minimum of 6 gig of ram to play this game and this is where most of you guys struggling to play the game especially if you have a 4 gigs of ram you might still be able to play the game with 4 gigs of ram but you face a lot of fps drops and a lot of loading issues so having at least 6 gigs of ram is quite important to get an overall playable frame rate and also as the graphic card wise you need to have minimum of amd radeon 7730 or a nvidia gt 640 which is a pretty old mid-range graphic card back in 2012 so even if you have intel hd graphics you should be able to play the game so honestly system requirements are not that heavy guys you should be able to play with most of your system without any issues as long as you have enough ram to play the game and as usual guys you guys know i always test these games on my low end laptop and show you guys the real time performance compared to most of the other tutorials available on youtube so you're definitely in the right place so today i'm going to test the game out on my low end laptop which consists of a i5 7200u which is a pretty low end dual core laptop cpu alongside a 8 gigs of ram and intel hd 620 graphics which is significantly weaker compared to the minimum requirement of a gt 640 all right before moving on to the performance and the optimization make sure you are running the latest version of windows 10 or windows 11 and also make sure your graphic drivers are up to date and also if you're playing on a laptop make sure you connect your power cable that is definitely helpful in some scenarios to get the maximum performance all right first of all i'm just gonna open the game and see how it performs on default settings and also guys i'm just going to use my phone to record the gameplay because i don't want to use obs and stress up the cpu even more i just want to show you guys the raw performance and the frame rate so apologize for the bad quality first of all guys i'm going to go to the settings and disable all the unnecessary graphical features because we need to get the maximum frame rate the graphic settings are very basic because this is basically a mobile game anyway first of all make sure you are running the game on full screen which is really important and also make sure to set your graphic quality to the low or the smooth in that case to get the maximum performance and also the frame rate should be set to very high and the visual style it doesn't have any impact on performance so set it to whatever you're liking all right first of all i'm just going to open up a team deathmatch and see how it performs and also remember guys this is running on 1080p native resolution which is quite demanding for an integrated graphics like intel hd 620 but surprisingly the game is actually running pretty well and i'm mostly getting around 45 to 55 fps which is really good considering we are running the game on 1080p and also as you guys can see my cpu is almost at 100 percent and also my system is using very close to 6 gigs of ram as they mentioned in their minimum system requirements so if you have a system only with 4 gigs of ram you're probably going to struggle to run the game right now but honestly the game is not that heavy you might still be able to play the game anyway guys this is a very playable experience especially we are running the game right now on 1080p and still getting like 45 fps which is really good but now it's time to test out the battle royale mode which has a much more larger map and a lot of players so i'm surprised to see how it performs Alright, now I'm in the BR mode and the game is performance decently well I would say but in the large open world areas I'll be getting like 30 35 fps but in less intensive areas I'll be getting more than 60 plus fps which is really good but the real issue happened when you get into a gunfight especially in a large open world area my fps is dropping to like 25 24 fps and as you guys can see I'm really struggling to aim and try to get hit on this guy and also as you guys can see my ram usage is almost close to like 7 gigs so having a 
at least like 6 gigs of RAM is extremely important to get a really playable experience. Anyway guys, this is a playable experience but we definitely need more frame rate at least more than 60 FPS because in a competitive battle royale game like this, we definitely need that frame rate boost to get a very smooth playable experience. So our next option is to drop the resolution to something like 720p. But there is no easy way to do it because there is no option to change the resolution in game. But this game is based on Unreal Engine 4 which means we can go to the game config files and edit and change the resolution manually which ultimately help us to boost our frame rate massively. So now I'm going to show you guys how to change the resolution. First of all close up the game and also close Steam then open up your Windows File Explorer or this PC and then go to the view tab and there is an option called hidden items and then make sure to enable it. Then go ahead and open up your C drive or the Windows installation drive and then go to users and in here you will find a folder with your laptop username open up that folder and then go to app data then go to the local folder and in here scroll down and find a folder called solar land then go to save config then windows client then find a config file called game user settings then right click and open up using notepad As you guys can see there's a lot of graphics options here but we are only here to change the resolution. So go ahead and find the resolution X and resolution Y option and as you guys can see my resolution is 1920 by 1080 so I'm going to change it to 1280 by 720. We don't really have to change anything other than that but if you are already playing the game on 720p and still struggling to get a playable experience I recommend you guys to go ahead and change the resolution quality or the resolution scale on default it's sitting at 100% as you guys can see you can change it to like 70, 80 or go below something like 50 but remember guys I only recommend this step if you are really really struggling to play the game in my case I'm not going to change the resolution quality because I'm already getting a playable frame rate I just to boost up that frame rate to get a really smooth experience so i'm just going to change the resolution to 720p and that's it once you've done that save the file then right click and go to properties and make sure to set the file to the read only mode that way the game is not going to change any of these settings automatically so if you want to edit the file again you have to come back and remove the read only tick once you've done that just apply and open up the game Alright, as you guys can see, I'm running the game right now on 720p on the lower settings and on team deathmatch mode, I'll be getting like close to like 90 FPS which is really really playable and very smooth. The game is running buttery smooth, not a single FPS drop. Honestly guys, I'm quite surprised to see this type of performance. Anyway, let's test out the big boy mode, the battle royale mode. Alright now I'm in the battle royale mode and as you guys can see the game is running really smoothly and right now I'm in a very intense gunfight but my FPS is still hovering around 70, 75 or sometimes below like 65 which is really good to see. So if you are playing the game with a similar type of a low end system I highly recommend you guys to play the game on smooth settings and drop the resolution to 720p and do not change the resolution quality or the resolution scale unless you are really needed to change it otherwise just keep it as it is. Well that's pretty much wrap up the video guys i hope you guys find this video helpful especially if you are playing farlight 84 in a low end system and struggling to get a playable experience anyway guys if this video helpful you in some way definitely drop a like and also if you have any questions or problems definitely let us know down in the comment section i'm really happy to help you and also if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well because we cover a lot of free games free to play content like this so i catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe